often been asked, what has caused my interest in architecture? And I think it is right to begin by clarifying that my definition of architecture goes beyond a concern for buildings designed by architects. I see architecture as embracing practically all aspects, all aspects of our built environment. Let me also explain that in Islam, the role of an imam is not limited to the domain of faith. It also includes a deep engagement in the world, in all of the wide and complex issues that affect our quality of life. Among those issues, not many have more impact than architecture and the buildings in which we spend at all ages so many days and nights of our lives. Is it not true that the quality of our lives is fundamentally shaped by the spaces in which we live, spaces that provide physical security and spaces where we seek spiritual enrichment? There are spaces where we work and where we pause from work, where we expand our minds and restore our health, places where we congregate and where we meditate. There are places where we are born, as well as places of final rest. This universality of sensitivity to changes in the built environment also helps explain the profound impact of architecture on the way we think about our lives. Few other forces, in my view, have such transformational potential. But I believe the Islamic faith has played a particular role in the development of Islamic architectural expression. For our faith constantly reminds us to observe and be thankful for the beauty of the world and the universe around us, and our responsibility and obligation as good stewards of God's creation to leave the world in a better condition than we found it. Let me conclude by emphasizing again the potential of architecture to communicate across the boundaries that may otherwise divide us. Architecture provides us with ways to express that which is distinctive in our own experiences, even as it responds to what is universally human. And this above all, it seems to me, is why architecture matters, to use the phrase with which your organization is so strongly identified. The language of architecture speaks in different idioms, but it also provides powerful connections resonating in landscapes, both urban and rural, global and local, monumental and humble, secular and spiritual. An architecture of pluralism is one that will encourage all of us to listen to one another and to learn from one another with a deep sense of humility and a realization that diversity itself is a gift of the divine. Thank you.